Standard normal distribution. In previous lessons, we have seen that the normal random variable x is written as x is normally distributed with the mean of mu and variance sigma squared. In this lesson, we will learn how to standardize these. A standard normal distribution has a mean of 0 and variance 1 squared. It is important to know how to standardize it because then we are able to compare measurements that have different units. The formula that we are using to code or standardize the x is z equals x minus mean over standard deviation. Phi of a is equal to the probability of z being less than a, as you can see it shaded in blue. Example 1. The random variable x is normally distributed with a mean of 30 and variance 5 squared. Write in terms of phi z for some value of z the probability of x being less than or equal to 42. First we need to standardize 42 by using the formula z equals x minus mean over standard deviation. Replacing the values the x is 42, the mean is 30 and the standard deviation is 5. This is equal to 2.4. So the probability of x being less than or equal to 42 is equal to the probability of z being less than or equal to 2.4 and this can also be written as phi of 2.4. For part b, again we start by standardizing 35 by using the formula z equals x minus mu over sigma replacing the values we have 35 minus 30 over 5. This is equal to 1, so the probability of x being larger than 35 is equal to the probability of z being larger than 1. But when we write it in terms of phi, we need less than, not larger than. So we need to rewrite this as 1 minus the probability of z being less than or equal to 1. To continue, we can write this as 1 minus phi of 1. Number 2. When we have a worded question, we have to extract only the most relevant keywords. In the first sentence we have S is normally distributed with a mean of 127 and standard deviation 16. A medical researcher wants to study adults with blood pressures higher than the 95th percentile. Find the minimum blood pressure for an adult included in her study. Below the 95th percentile, there are 95% of the values. So the area under the graph is 95%. Above that, the area under the graph is 5%, which is shaded in pink. To solve this, we can use the table of percentage points of the normal distribution. This table can be found at the end of the textbook and also in the formula booklet that is given out in the new A-level exam. This table lists a selection of probabilities for the upper tail and their corresponding z values. Looking for the 5%, the corresponding z value for this is 1.6449. Now that we have the z value, we can use the formula to find x. Writing this out, we have z equals x minus mean over standard deviation, replacing the values we have 1.6449 a minus 127 over 16. Rearranging this, we have a is equal to 153 to three significant figures. We also need a conclusion. We can use another method to work this out. Use the inverse normal distribution function on the calculator. Go to menu, then 7 for distribution, then choose inverse normal, Type in the area for the left tail, which is 95%, standard deviation sigma 16, mean mu 127, and press equal. This will give us A, the same answer that we have worked out from the table.